This microwave is the spawn of Satan because everything burns. So we go for the balls. And now we're gonna preheat the oven for the balls. <laughs> These balls. <laughs> and this wild cush it appeared. We're gonna use that another time. What is that? Jam. <laughs> There's not even enough to. <laughs> I guess we can't use this anymore, so it's going in the trash. So now we have 10 balls, which satisfies me a lot more because that's an even number of balls. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand and this plate thing doesn't fit into the oven. So now I found this other plate, which fits into the oven. Why is this one in here if it doesn't fit into the oven? It makes no sense. We didn't get it on camera, but Ruda said that this was too small and it's even funnier when it's too big or something <laughs> like that. I don't really remember what you said. But yeah, this one is too small and it really displeases me. <laughs> Wild broccoli appeared. <laughs> is it broccoli? Yes. And it's going so well because now I don't remember when I actually put these in the oven. So we're just gonna check on them from time to time. This one is still hard. <laughs> and this hallway is kind of scary because it looks like a mental asylum. Ruta lives here, but she's not in here because she's in the kitchen. Here is Arthur and he makes tea that smells like homeless people. And in here we have another kitchen that no one uses because this fridge smells like death, so I'm not gonna open that. But we have a nice couch and we have some flowers and we have television that we can't get to work. We're gonna go in here, um, which is a really cool room. There's this awesome artwork on the walls, which is just really amazing. The sky is high. Pig. We call this kitchen Mel's kitchen. Paper explaining the kitchen rules. We have a calendar uh, decorated with small Mel Gibson heads. And we made this calendar, I think, I think two or three weeks ago. And recently we found out there was no Friday. Like it, it only had six days. Like Friday was just not there. It just went straight from Thursday to Saturday. And then we have this thing over here, which is a fun little game. You can spin this thing and it tells you which Mel Gibson you are. And today we are out of the pills Mel. And here we also have another amazing decoration, which is my favorite. Here we also have some pictures and signs that says what's in the cupboards. And this is where we store empty bottles and cans. And we have a dishwasher, which needs to be emptied. And here we have a fireplace which makes it really cozy. It adds to the Danish hygge. So I got a little bit overexcited with filming everything, so I kind of forgot my balls <laughs> in the oven. <laughs> but I think they're ready, sort of look and feel ready, so we're gonna take those out. So I found this towel thing that I'm gonna use to take out the balls with, because you don't want to touch the balls directly of the place that they're on because you can seriously burn yourself. <laughs> so the question is, do I eat all these balls by myself or do I invite other people? I guess we can try to invite other people to eat balls. Now we're gonna do a taste test. 
on this bowl before I offer it to anyone else. So we're gonna see what we have here because normally I would eat this with powdered sugar, but I don't think we have powdered sugar. So we're gonna take this sugar, which for some reason is in a Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> so we're gonna try to open that with one hand, which is not working. Ah, uh, yes. That's so beautiful. I think that was a bit too much sugar. So we're gonna put that away for now because we definitely don't need that in our lives anymore right now. So we're gonna put this back. And now we're gonna try to eat this sugary ball, which is very crispy, but I think it's good. Because I put too much sugar on this plate, I added two more balls, but I'm not gonna eat that, so I'm gonna offer that to my friend. Okay, the door is closed and I, I don't have any free hands, wait. Hussein? Hello, hello. Jeg har to boller, som du kan putte i din mund og knæve lidt på. Åh, oh, dejligt. Ses! Hey Tim, do you want this ball? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. I came back to this kitchen after I successfully gave my balls away. And there is a staircase on the other side of this building over here. Well, you can't really see it because it's dark, but I went in there and it smelled really, really bad. Like the entire time I was in that staircase, I was just like gagging the entire time because it smelled so bad. There's four balls left and there was 10 and I ate one, I gave two away. So what is this a math lesson? It is. <laughs> So my point is there should be seven balls left, but there's only four. So someone came while I was away and ate some of the balls. And I don't know who that is and that will forever be a mystery and maybe we'll cover that in another episode. <laughs> that was not funny. And now I'm gonna eat these four balls by myself. 